y'all welcome back to my channel my name's Danielle and I'm the owner of damn fancy creations and the drunk flamingo glitter if you guys are new to my channel I do want to let you know that all of my links and groups are posted in the description below in case you guys want to check them out today's tutorial is going to be a super simple glittered waterfall tumbler I decided to do a tutorial on this just to show you guys that it doesn't take a lot of time, effort, or even materials to produce a really pretty tumbler. This one is perfect for fall. I love the colors, the simple decals. And even if you are a beginner tumbler artist, this is definitely something that you'll be able to accomplish no problems. Everything you see listed here is going to be covered in our tutorial, but if you guys ever have questions about any materials I use or a step that I did, please just ask in the description and I will come back and answer them. But for now, we're going to go ahead and get started on this tutorial. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notification bell so you guys stay up to date on my newest tutorial releases. Okay guys, so first step is spray painting your tumbler. I always like to start with a spray painted white base and then whatever color I'm going to use for the base of my tumbler. The white just gives everything a nice fresh surface and helps your colors be a little bit more vibrant. I'm also going to be using glitter glue and Bone Daddy glitter, which is a newer release from my line over at thedrunkflamingo.com. The spray paint color I used is Nantucket Blue. It's one of my favorite fall blue colors. So once your spray paint is completely dry, we are going to take glitter glue from Artistry. If you guys have not tried this, definitely give it a try. It is 10 times better than Mod Podge and gives a very similar feel to if you were applying your glitter with epoxy. I used to apply all of my glitter with clear spray paint or epoxy, and now I find myself reaching for the glitter glue more often now because it's so convenient. You can do it inside, and it still gives a very similar feel to how I am used to applying my glitter. It is nothing like Mod Podge. <laughs> So I am just applying a decent coat. I am just bringing this glitter glue a little bit further down the tumbler than where I want my glitter to stop, just so I'm sure that I have enough glue on the cup so that all of the glitter will stick. So I'm just kind of smoothing everything out just making sure there are no big globs on there because I don't want it to take forever to dry. I would say a decent coat like this of glitter glue probably takes about 30 minutes to dry. If you have thicker areas, it may take a little bit longer. So now I am just going to sprinkle the glitter on about an inch, an inch and a half all the way around my cup. This is just so we get good coverage at the top of our tumbler. And then we are going to angle the tumbler and sprinkle the glitter down the cup so that the glitter gives that gradient feel. This is a 32 ounce plump, so it is a little hard to kind of keep everything on the tumbler or on the sheet of paper. <laughs> So I'm angling my cup at about a 45 degree angle, maybe a little bit more. And we're just sprinkling the glitter right where that glitter band starts. And we're letting that glitter cascade down the tumbler. So the further the glitter falls down the cup, the more sparse it becomes and gives that waterfall look that we're looking for. 
and I am just doing a little bit at a time. You can always go back and add more glitter to spaces where maybe you want a little bit more coverage. So it's a lot easier to add a little bit more than it is to take glitter away. But I am really happy with how this one turned out. I didn't really need to add any glitter. But once this glitter dries, we're going to epoxy it, sand it really well. I went ahead and sanded my rim. This is just a super quick video, so I did not show myself epoxying, but almost all of my other videos show me actually applying epoxy. This one I forgot to film, which is why it's not included. But when I epoxy, I do use Artistry's 1-to-1 facet. I would typically use about 20 mils for a 32-ounce tumbler. And then I'm just going to apply this simple decal. I didn't want anything overpowering because I really wanted the glitter to be the focus of the cup. So I thought this little Hello Fall was perfect. The transfer tape I use is also linked in my description. I prefer the transfer tape with lines because it helps me line everything up really good and get it as straight as I can. I am being very careful when I remove this decal because metallic vinyl, if you bend it, you will see it under epoxy. So I just want to make sure that I'm being very careful with that, not bending it. I and mean, then you can see I'm just lining up one of the transfer tape lines to the bottom of the cup. And then I'm just smoothing it down. And once this decal is on, I am going to go and apply another two layers of epoxy. I like to apply two layers over decals just so I'm 100% sure that everything is sealed in and has a decent layer of epoxy on top. And that's pretty much it guys. So I know this was a super short, super simple tutorial, but I just wanted to put this out there for those that are just looking for something really simple, but is still really pretty. I just love the decals, the glitter color, the spray paint color. I think it just came together really nicely. If you guys decide to try a simple waterfall effect tumbler, please tag me in my group so I can see what you guys come up with. If y'all enjoyed this tutorial or learned something new, please be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to catch the next video coming up that was picked just for you. As always, if you're looking for more tips, tricks, or tutorials, be sure to check out my tutorial group or my mentorship group. Both are linked in the description. Thanks for watching.